Hi, this is The Interesting Show. I'm Olivier, and today we will talk about tooling, in, in particular VS Code, for developing for Azure IT Hub. For that, we have Shane with us. Hey, Shane, how are you? Good, good. Good? Yeah. So, Shane, that's the first time you're on the show. Yeah, uh, It's sure. very common these days. Everyone is the first time on the show, but uh, <laughs> we're going to have you several times, I'm sure. Um, who are you and what are you doing at Microsoft? Uh, actually, I'm from the Microsoft China. So okay. basically, my team is a Visual Studio China team focusing on the uh, IoT developer experience. Cool. So that includes Visual Studio and VS Code work, yeah, right? And the uh, VSTS, actually, the entire Visual Studio oh, family. All the experience. That's yeah. awesome. So uh, your team has been, has been producing lots of great tools. Today, we're here to focus on the Azure IT Toolkit. Yeah. So let's start from the beginning. Where can you find that toolkit? Uh, if you look at this page, that's the Visual Studio Code Marketplace. You can okay. search the uh, like Azure IoT Toolkit and go to this page, click the install. Okay. And uh, you can uh, install the uh, toolkit in our like Visual Studio Code. You can okay. find it here. Good. And so you get all the updates and so on regularly and all the documentation as well directly from VS Code when you go to the gallery, correct? Yes, yeah, so you can go through the README. You can see lots of uh, functionalities provided by this toolkit. And uh, well, list of functionality that is growing yes. very fast because you guys are adding on top of, right, right. of it all yeah. the time, right? You know the uh, Azure IoT Hub is uh, growing, so the toolkit is uh, like a reflection of all these features. Cool. So what can you do with that toolkit? Can you uh, show us like, yeah. like first time experience, you get in there, you get the toolkit installed, what's next? So uh, you will see like here we have a new explorer, Azure IoT Hub devices. So okay. the first thing I need to do when I log into my Azure account, I'm going to create a new IoT Hub. Okay. So, so I, and it, yeah. it's common to lots of the extensions. It can work and depend on another one, right? So you just say that you're logged into Azure. That's because there's an Azure extension that yes. allows you to be logged in across the various right. extensions. The, right? the underlying dependency actually is the Azure account, which mm -hmm. means you can interact with your uh, Azure account to management all your Azure resources. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to uh, create a new IoT Hub, and uh, the first thing I need to uh, select my subscription okay. and uh, create a new resource group, and uh, I'm going to provide a name. Okay. Uh, probably IoT Hub, and uh, select the uh, location, West US. Okay. And uh, I'm going to create a, a, the school is a S1 standard, okay. and uh, my IoT Hub name is my alias. Okay. Good. So how long is it going to take to create that hub? Uh, like two or three minutes. Okay, and that's a resource thing. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward to when it's done, okay? Okay. Okay, so now the hub is created, mm -hmm. and it took a minute or two. Right. So uh, like you like you promised. Yeah, right. you're right. Okay, so you have a hub. What what's uh, what what do you get now in the extension and in the tooling? So uh, if you expand this explorer, you will see there is no device under this IoT hub. So okay. next thing, I'm going to uh, create a new device. Okay. So uh, I'm saying like my first device, you. So you're doing that, doing right clicks and so on, but you can also invoke the command palette and, right, and pass commands right. up there, right? You have different ways to trigger this, like use just a search, create device here. You can see IoT create device. Got it. So like you have the preference of one or the right, other. Right. Let me cool. create my second device. Okay. Okay. And it's see. almost instant. That's pretty cool. Right. So uh, next thing for me is to start monitor the you you know the uh, device to client uh, to okay. cloud message. Do you so monitor for that very device or for all the devices on the hub? Uh, just uh, for for single device. Okay. Okay. So uh, uh, I'm start monitoring. So the next thing for me is to start a device. So. Actually, the IoT uh, toolkit provide mm -hmm. a simulate device uh, okay. code snipped, which means you can create a simulate device just in seconds. Okay, show me that. So uh, I'm creating like a hello.js file here. So uh, if you uh, like say IoT send device to client message and press enter, you <coughs> have all the codes <laughs> ready. I love that. 
I'll yeah. stop coding myself. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> so uh, USC, like this is actually the JavaScript sample. So okay. it requires the Agile T device SDK. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is to install the device SDK. So I'm going to say npm install the okay. Agile T device SDK. Nice. So uh, another thing is like you can see there is a connection string, but this is a placeholder. What I'm okay. going to do is to uh, get the uh, uh, copy the device connection string and nice. uh, directly replace this line okay. and save. Nice. Okay, everything is ready. Next thing is that click the run button here. Okay. And uh, it send a message to IoT Hub. And then you look at your terminal. Right, switch to the two key terminal. You can see I received a message, uh, hello IoT Hub. That's awesome, that's cool. Um, anything about device twins? Yes, of course. If you go to like this device and uh, see the contents menu, you can see you can get the device twin. Okay. And uh, you can you know update the de device twin and uh, in the contents menu, update the device twin. Device so you twin. can actually go edit that that JSON file and just update and it's going to push the change up to the to the device. Correct. That's awesome. And knowing that VS Code actually offers all the intelligence and so on for JSON, yeah. you're in a very comfortable place. That's true. Okay. Any other goodies that you have in there you wanna you wanna show us like methods maybe? Uh, you can invoke a method, right? Yes, yes. But uh, for you know invoking these direct methods, you probably first need to define some direct method in yes. your client app to to handle that. But like yeah. bottom line is that you can invoke methods for devices that have that. Yes, just uh, put the method name here, and uh, you can send to like the device you just uh, choose them from the explorer. Awesome. Well, it's pretty complete. You create an IT hub, you create devices, yeah. you interact with the devices, you update the twins, you create code snippets like it or, or actually code samples in a matter of seconds. You can monitor the events that are coming into the hub. I mean, like, we're not missing anything there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the last thing I'm going to do is to, you know, delete this device. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can so. delete the devices as well. <laughs> I like that. Cool. Okay, Shin, thanks a lot for that overview of the Azure IT Toolkit extension for VS Code. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>